so so obviously you're worrying about yourself you're mm-hmm. worrying about running the show and then yeah. you have all these cocktail waitresses that are reporting to you as well and you had mentioned before that they're yeah. freaking out yeah how, from a manager's perspective how are you keeping them from utterly breaking down themselves oh it happens <laughs> it <laughs> happens it happens they break down and i'm i'm the worst person to like like i can't like I try not to cry in front of people. Oh. So when I see one of the girls f- start crying, I'm like, in my mind, I'm just like, what do I do? What do I do? But in person, I'm just like giving keep, them a hug, like yeah, whatever. Yeah, trying to keep it together. Um, luckily, they've, I feel like compared to from when we first opened up, we had probably about 30 cocktail waitresses. It's gone to down to about like seven to eight of them right now. And it's, wow. yeah, yeah. Um, and so, how did you choose? How did you, this might be a bad question, <laughs> but how did you guys decide, or was it maybe just who wanted to come back that you're like, this is the seven to eight all stars? Yeah. So we kind of weeded them out, you know. Um, it's, it was crazy over there. The people that could handle it stayed, the people that couldn't just kind of, faded yeah. out like um i feel like you have to have some sort of craziness inside of you <laughs> to be able to deal with uh any sort of industry bar place especially as crazy as it was when we first opened up we were probably working like open to close from like 11 in the morning all the way till two at night but we'd have to be there probably at nine in the morning to roll silverware get everything taken care of so you're just sleeping like Four, four hours. Four hours a night, probably. Yeah. Money was great. Money was great. Money was pouring like crazy. We were all happy about it, but we were dead on the inside. We had, <laughs> yeah, we were all dead on the inside. We were just like, what is Walking life? Dead. Yeah, exactly. We were straight zombies. And, um, but yeah, money was pouring like crazy. But the cocktails, I feel like, I feel like since the team has gotten like a lot smaller, um, we're all really supportive of each other. That's if great. one of us is going through something, we'll all be there. Um, if I know one of them is having a hard time, I'll, I'm obsessed with Tiff's treats, so I'll just <laughs> send some Tiff's treats. It'll get them happy. It'll I've, keep them happy. I've gotten, we, gotten Tiff's treats a few times. It's a pretty good present. <laughs> yeah, definitely gets them a little bit happy. Um, you know, but they understood like, you know, we can't go, go drink. We can't do this. We can't, you know, spend our money like we used to. So I think the second time around they handled it. I think everyone handled it a lot better versus whenever it first happened. First time I just felt so bad because it was like, it's out of my control. I can't, I don't even know how to make you feel better. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah. you kept a good face on. Yeah, I definitely had a good face. Luckily, most of it was through messages, so they didn't have to see my face. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, they they're definitely some troopers for sure. Um, but we switched over to a restaurant in at the end of July. And yeah, how did that? So I haven't really been following those exact procedures that need to happen. I know mm-hmm. for a fact you have to. Or at least I don't know for a fact, but I assume you have to refile with the state. Correct. Yeah. You have to get a restaurant license. And I don't I don't know the ins and outs of that. Um, Sean, uh, the owner takes care of it. Um, And we opened up as a restaurant. And um, once we got the license and everything for it, we opened back up. We had no idea because who was going to be the hostess because we, you know, it was just like all we had is door guy checking ID. They yeah. go wherever we, we had to do a hostess, a drink runner. Um, the bartenders became servers practically because we didn't need as many bartenders. Right. Yeah. Who's becoming the servers? Because it really is only bartenders. And yeah. There, we only need like one or two bartenders now pretty much making the drinks because no one's going to the bar anymore so the bartenders are now becoming servers and some of them have had server bartender experience which is great some of them haven't so we're we're high volume bar or restaurant and so um yourself yeah (laughs) um so um, some of them, ha- it's an adjustment for them to kind of learn how to, you know, pick up a little bit faster in terms of going to every single table versus them being behind the bar, making the drinks, putting in the food orders. They, it's a completely different, yeah. like, um, 
atmosphere for sure. Um, we have drink runners now. We didn't have drink runners before. Um, we don't have as many servers on the floor because it is a tip share now versus right. the cocktails making their own money because, you know, we would have to tip out the bartenders a higher percentage if we were to um, just make our own money. Um, so the cocktails have had a little bit of an adjustment. Um, yeah. They've been a little bothered um, at first when we went to tip share. They weren't about it. They like making their own money. Of they course. like working however many hours pretty much. Well, you're um, also, when you're making your own money, you're also a direct impact on that money you're making. A hundred percent. You know, they're regulars um, it, that they get who tip them a hundred, two hundred, whatever. It's like, they're like, that could have been and my money <laughs> and it's like it, i th i personally love the tip share it makes my life a little bit easier mm. um in terms of sections because we have each cocktail in a section and um uh sometimes some of the girls would walk out of there with fifty dollars um you know and then sometimes they'd walk out of there with 500 so when they would get a bad section they wouldn't they would be like, this fucking sucks, you know? Yeah. But now with tip share, it's like everyone... is going to be on the same playing field. Yeah, exactly. But now we have to shorten hours and things like that. So um, that's been a little bit of an adjustment for cocktails who are used to working doubles or used to working, you know, however many hours they want to because it's their money. Right. Yeah. So that's probably been um, definitely... There's a lot of complaints about that or uh, yes and no. I feel like the first week we opened up, it was chaos, complete <laughs> chaos. Um, uh, the cocktails, all of them, I think complained about it. Um, and we kind of had to have like a few staff meetings because there were issues going wrong with tip share, everything. So we were trying to smooth things out. I think now, um, everyone is on the same page and, um, the one thing I like about it is they hold each other accountable. So oh, it's cool. like, if someone's not holding their weight, they'll be like, Hey, this person's not holding their weight. They need to, you know, step yeah. it up. So it's like each person takes care of each other, which I like more versus, Hey, this is my section. This is my money, you know? So, um, I feel like it's less selfish and more about everyone else. Versus team players. Yeah, exactly. Team players, a hundred percent. 